Dr. Rivra Chakravarti, I am the instant, instant professor of surgery in the Rangamati Medical College. I'm going to uh, say something about the first aid, how and what to do. And I, I like to uh, express my heartiest congratulations to BeamsCon, uh, virtual to, 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 uh, 2020. And uh, this is an, it will be a nice uh, virtual uh, summit, I think. And, and welcome and congratulations to all of my uh, participants in this uh, BeamsCon virtual 2020. Let's start my uh, main topics, the first eight what and how to do. So uh, this is an, uh, you know that this is a first aid is actually a procedure where hands-on training is very essential. Is almost utmost requirement for all the medical students as well as medical professionals. But as this is a uh, virtual uh, summit, so we cannot arrange any, any hands-on training. So in this uh, first aid, uh, what and how to do session, uh, I like to uh, discuss about some uh, important points to, to be noted or some important tips about this first aid. Uh, and uh, I think this will be much uh, more helpful to our uh, professionals as well as our students or the beginner the beginners who likes to do the first aid in their uh, future professional life. First of all, let's see. Uh, let's see that what's the first aid actually does it means. Medical help given to a sick or injured person until full medical treatment is available. That means this first aid is such a procedure uh, to provide some medical help to an injured person or to, an, uh, a, to a person who is in uh, medical or surgical emergencies, actually. And for this reason, is a special situation and one may face in their daily life or in their professional life. All the medical students and the medical professionals should have a keen knowledge about this first aid. The aim of this first aid. We know uh, first aid is, is an emergency procedure. So if each and every procedure should have some definite aim to promote the recovery, we should do some medical uh, medical process or procedure to uh, help the patient to, to recover its emergency and is an utmost requirement that the, if one had to have uh, a goal that to prevent worsening the condition as well as the preservance of life. Now, what are the steps of the first aid? This should be some definitive uh, steps for the first aid. Number one, that assess the situation. It, the, the first aid giver should have the full sense or skill to assess the, the whole emergency situation perfectly. And he should have some training, some intuition, or some professional passion to face this situation, whatever else. Is it medical or any surgical as well and here number two step always try to call for help in our country where there is no ems that means emergency medical service defined or structured emergency medical service we know this uh, emergency medical service are some key personnel to combat with the emergency situations in different countries in the developed world but this emergency service is 
totally lack in our countries. But uh, we have to uh, seek the help. The first aid giver should seek the help of the true medical personnel to, to combat this uh, uh, image situation. And first aid giving is only first aid, it is not a whole medical treatment. So step two, to give, uh, before giving the definitive first aid, please call for help. Step three is that plan the care. What kind of care is actually required in this image situation is a very, uh, it needs a clean planning and, and experience planning. Unplanned first aid may do harm and may force the patient's condition further. So be careful about it, step three. Let's plan the care appropriately. And number four step is the implementation of the first aid. We know this implementation of the first aid actually require proper training, proper intuition, and also the courage. Courage of the first aid giver is very much requirement to implement the first aid very cleanly and very appropriately. And number five step is very important. Another step is the evaluation of the patient as well as making notes. The first aid giver have to have capability to make a uh, appropriate medical note in an appropriate format as well as at, as an usable format is very important usable format now we have to have some prerequisite for the first aid be trained enough is a should be the you have the first aid giver a first aid giver should should have a uh, very much into uh, have intuition to be trained enough in this first aid without training whimsical first aid giving is very dangerous very dangerous for emergency situation it may force and it may create the chaotic or hazardous situation as, as for the patient as well as for the first aid giver also so act intelligently act intelligently never do any hesitated works, hurried works, or foolish like act during first aid giving. It uh, decreases the patient's confidence as well as the confidence of the surrounding peoples upon you. So act intelligently during first aid giving. Ensure self safety first is another important point. Never make yourself in a danger position. Your safety is very important during first aid giving. Do no harm. Another motto is that you must know what you are doing. And is it authorized? Is it helpful? Really helpful for, for the patient? It's very important. If you don't know anything, never do anything. If you do something that would what you have no proper knowledge it may it may create the harmful situation and or it may hamper the patient's life even be kind and calm soft handling of the patient is very important very important kind and smiling with a smiling face and cool brain is very important for a skilled first aid giver Another thing is that the very important place now in our country that peoples are much more conscious throughout the world in the developed countries. Peoples are much more conscious about their rights, about their own health, about their own physics. So be logical, be logical and think medical legal aspect of this first aid. You cannot expose a uh, female body in an unethical way. You cannot handle a, a, a child in an unethical way. You may be in hurry. You think it's justified, but uh, surrounding people may think it as illegal act and they may attack you. They may, uh, you may face harmful situations as well. So always be logical and be, Think about the medicological, medicological uh, aspect also during giving first aid. So let's see the overall responsibility of a first aid giver. The managed incident, very important. You are medical personnel and you are totally incorporated in the emergency situation. So scene management 
or incident management is is a key uh, part of a first aid giving process do no harm to patient as well as self is very important assess and find out the nature and cause of emergency don't act like foolish you can do it but you have have no knowledge about the situations you have no knowledge about the surroundings don't move don't move to give the first aid it may hamper yourself your safety your dignity arrange for the medical help always always try to get some additional medical help never try to act solely depending on your courage never try to get get other medical help and also warn the true medical personnel by telephone or by uh, sending someone to nearby hospitals or nearby yes, medical centers like that if trained enough choose priority based management if you are trained enough you will be able to uh, identify what to do first as because the emergency situation is in critical situation emergency situation is in multi directional situations emergency situations may you have met you have, may have to face the child emergency adult emergency have to face the medical emergency have to face the surgical emergency at a time in a single situation so always be trained enough and try to choose the priority what to do first is very important and it needs the experience it needs the practice it needs the knowledge provide appropriate first aid management appropriate first aid management always want your knowledge and your experience you have to identify what is killing the patient you have to identify the that what makes the patient's life in danger so what to do first is very important providing the appropriate first aid is very important if possible make a note in nowadays in the modern uh, medical technique note writing is must but in our country sometimes we neglect this part but it should not be making a proper note is very important and fill up any paper works always uh, if you are the medical personnel if you are uh, assigned to give first aid or if you like to give first aid please follow some format uh, make uh, preserve some formative papers in your first aid kit box so that you can make some formative note for the standard medical personnel to use in the hospital and make proper proper handover or refer is very important you have to as a first aid giver it is your responsibility to hand over this patient to appropriate hospitals or to appropriate medical personnel so emergency note you have to have some minimum knowledge about this emergency note and to make it emergency note the medical knowledge is essential you know sometimes first aid uh, givers may be non medical persons but nowadays every first aid giver whatever he he is he medical personnel or non medical personnel but he have to have some medical knowledge at least if he like to do the first aid giver if he like to do uh, make his profession as a first aid giver he have to have some medical knowledge because he have to write the exact location of and access access location of the situation and access problem of the site number of the casualties and people involved nature of the injuries age of the patients and any hazardous uh, condition around the scenery like the fires chemicals electrocution chance everything so this uh, five points should be noted in an emergency first aid note first aid referral note and handover note now come about very important uh, thing is that the incident management as a first aid giver every personnel have to maintain these points 
risk assessment before rush is very important you have every intention to help the patient you have every knowledge to help the patient you have every skill to know the patient but if you are not conscious about the situation about the incident about the some and surroundings you may be in danger as well as patient so remember you are the most important person at that situation is an uh, somewhat a uh, different word you think it as a uh, very funny you may think it very funny but is it is justified is right that you are the most important person at that situation and <laughs> next word is that if you think that situation is not in your favor stay back just stay back never rush never rush to help the patient as because uh, this type of hurried movement this type of injudicious movement may endanger your life and dignity also and is not uh, applicable is absolutely unapplicable attitude so some potential risk uh, you have to assess that the moving vehicles if the moving vehicles around the scene uh, spillage of oils fuels or chemicals or gases be careful about it don't rush at that situation and risk of fire if there's a risk of fire be careful before moving or take appropriate measurement before proving and the risk of electrocution is another very dangerous situation so all first aid givers have to assess these four points for potential risks before moving any first aid giving site <clears throat> another is that the infection prevention is very important uh, as because the first aid giver are in hurried situation are in uh, mass situations so they have to have very keen knowledge how to prevent the uh, infection as well as how to prevent uh, myself from death hazardous infective situations like that uh, care about the hiv hepatitis b and c you know you have to deal with the blood or fluids body body excretes so be careful about hepatitis b hepatitis c hiv and nowadays in the coronavirus as well as tetanus is very important and use waterproof gloves or less never give first aid with in the open hand please unprotected hand is very dangerous for you as well as for patient uh, use waterproof gloves protect your uh, cut from contamination and protect your eyes and skin and wash thoroughly after care this a uh, very important number instead uh, in this uh, change corona situation we know uh, there's lots of uh, promotion about the effective hand wash i think that you know it and is it should be practiced it uh, is very appropriate and essential uh, i say essential uh, for giving the first aid and what are the essential first aid kits a first aid giver should have access in uh, in this uh, some uh, kits you have to have these kits to give a proper first aid these are the bandages gauze and roll pads of different size instant cold pack gels elastic bandages emergency blankets like that thermometers or uh, first aid manuals and adhesive tape gloves and formative notes note forms you know i have mentioned earlier you have to have some formative notes uh, note writing options and as well as antiseptic wipes and some scissors or forceps like that these are the minimum requirement for a first aid giver and in, i i can recommend two books uh, either one uh, will do that's the a c e p american college of emergency physicians first aid guide a fifth edition is very good book you can collect it from uh, online amazon uh, like that and american red cross first aid and safety handbooks this is a bit older 1992 and 1992 edition so uh, but it is helpful actually is very helpful mm, and and updates knowledge you can uh, collect from ACEP first aid guide fifth edition book and other uh, requirements are if you like to give the specialized uh, first aid then heart collar external sorry 
heart collar, external device, CPR mask, and septic solution. Everything is there are the essential kits for the first aid box or first aid arrangements. Now, how to give this first aid? This is very important and, and well recognized by the American Co College of Emergency Physicians and International Red Cross is the DRSA BCD action plan. DRSA BCD action plan is very applicable. This is, uh, this is the danger. S is the danger that means the scene management is very important. Number one, D and R. S is the patient for the response. Is this patient is unconscious or conscious? If is this unconscious at the which level of consciousness and sent for help? Airway management, you know, breathing assessment, and if okay, turn them on the one side until you hand over and CPR, C means CPR, and the D means the defibrillator. You can use the AED, automated external defibrillators. So as this session is a, is a very short interactive session, uh, I cannot uh, say in detail about all these points, but you know, these all these points needs uh, various and wide, it needs wide discussion about the airway management system. These all are actually a part of first responder training courses. You know, if you can, uh, you like to provide, you can choose the different first responder training courses. But I think in Bangladesh is it, not possible. We don't have any uh, first responder training program actually. So some medical colleges uh, arranges this program. So at that program, we can discuss all this point in details. Now, about how the first aid giver should know how to move and injure or emergency patients is very important. Uh, if if uh, you make some wrong movement, it, it may do further harm to patient's spine or cervical region or may provide head injury to everything. So moving a patient is very important. You have to support the patient's head with this like two forearm to firm and, and should not be bent. Cervical region should not be bent actually and support the cervical spine with the two forearm actually and draw the patients uh, towards your lap. Never uh, try to free movement of this an unconscious or injured patient. Always uh, pull these patients towards own lap and always move this patient with this wide base. You can see the picture. Uh, wide based movement for your safety, for your uh, spine guard, you have to uh, pull this uh, patient with the wide base and keep the self spine straight. Your spine should be in a straight position and you have to, if you like to move the patients, you can move in this way also by two or three person at a time. An assessment of the patient is very important. You know, the victim is non-responsive. If the victim is non-responsive, you know, then uh, and no breathing or gasping and absent and confusing uh, carotid pulse. I cannot uh, sure, very sure about the carotid pulse is present or not. And never try to feel more than 10 seconds. Only 10 seconds. If you can find the carotid pass within 10 seconds, just start CPR and heart rate is below 60 or poor perfusion patient is very pale, then start CPR. Now what is CPR? It needs a vast discussion. I like to uh, give some short instance here actually. Uh, it is not the time is not a CPR course actually. So I, I, I am giving very short, very short slide for CPR. That is 100 compression rate per minute and Compression depth is uh, should be two centimeter, five five centimeter or two inches, and allow complete recoil, um, and give thirty compression at a time, and then two two rescue breath. So ratio is the thirty is to two, and minimize the interruption. And so to minimize the interruption, you need two or three person at a time, and avoid excessive ventilation. And in case of child. These are almost same, almost same two is to three. So if the more than two rescue, you can uh, do 15 is to two, 15 compression and two rescue breath. Actually, uh, this is very short 
uh, some points about the uh, cardiopulmonary resuscitation and now we can discuss another one basic technique for first aid is the dressing technique patient should be in the sitting or lying and position yourself on the injured side never uh, do uh, dressing from the opposite side crossing the patient's body it, uh, it is very odd looking it is it is very ineffective and very uh, not so pleasant full. so always uh, place yourself in the injured side and injured part should be supported in position and self-protection and self-cleanness again Again, self-protection and self-cleanliness is very important. And choose correct dressing materials. We'll uh, talk something about these dressing materials later on. And start from relative, relatively unclean part first. And care about not to introduce new infection is very important. I should not introduce any uh, infection, new infection to that own. So it's very self cleanliness is very important also for this. And another is that the be gentle and soft handling. You know, such any emergency personnel should be soft hearted and soft. Uh, if their handling should be soft, it it increases the patient's confidence. It it increases uh, the self confidence to maintain the situation, and. Wrap the wound fully with bandage after placing the sterile pad. Never cover the wound partially. Always cover with full length and minimum two inches more or four centimeter to five centimeter more than wound. Cover this uh, dressing and adequate thickness of pad is essential and use the figure of eight bandage figure of eight bandage for when you cross the joints and bandage should not be so tight or loose be careful about the bleeding if there is internal bleeding or internal loosing it may uh, make the bandage soaked so if the bandage is minimum tight it become act it, it act as a tourniquet of this part so bandage should not be so tight not be so loose again Commonly used materials in the first aid, you know, the povidone iodine, you know, there's so many uh, commercial names in our country like the betadine or uh, viodine or aerodine like that. The, uh, they are 1% or 10% like that. And chlorhexidine solution, they are the hexazole or hexascrap like that. And and chlorhexidine gluconate and, and cetrimide solution, this is a sablon, and chlorhexinol 4.8 percent, this is a detol or usol, and normal saline, hydrogen peroxide, and muporosin ointment. These are some common uh, materials you have to have in hand for the, giving the first aid. Now, some common situations, you know, if a first aid giver may face, these are the applying a crab bandage. Applying crab bandages is, is a very minimum requirement uh, in case of some uh, sprain like situations or fracture like situations. Uh, so practice it yourself in, in, a, in the world or in your institution uh, to give a proper crab bandage. It's very important. Start uh, from foot and then uh, make a figure of eight around ankle joint and then. Uh, proceed further upwards by uh, covering the half thickness of the half thickness of the previous one half breadth of the previous one then it should not be so tight or so loose loose and uh, teach the patient it's very important teach the patient how to apply it as because patient have to open it at night and you have to reapply it at the morning so you have to teach the patient how to apply this crab bandage and it's very helpful actually in case of non fracture situation, a sprain situation is very helpful. Very helpful. And applying a splint is another required uh, uh, skill in case of first aid giving, uh, first aid provider. You have to apply a splint properly. You know, we can uh, apply this. Uh, this is a standard splint situation, splint, but at many situations you cannot get it 
you ha have to uh, make this splint with some uh, bamboo sticks or some scales like that or some wooden piece or some plastic piece whatever else just may maintain an anatomical or near anatomical positions is very important so as a first aid giver you have to uh, know the proper anatomical position of that part particularly mm, is very important so these are some uh, style to make the spleen uh, make uh, effective splintage another is, uh, situation is that the burn you know burn situation is very common for the first aid givers this no this big no you have to uh, teach the common people no never apply toothpaste eggs ashes or nail polish or different coloring agents like that these all are harmful so actually what to do the strip of all the hot clothes or burnt clothes dirty clothes first and then turn on the cold tap water rinse the affected part very clearly about for 15 to 30 minutes and organize the medical assistance for further medical help and or transfer this patient to nearby hospital and protect the burnt area with dressing proper dressing with good pet and good length actually and this uh, four step we can uh, memorize it by stop s t o p these uh, four steps are very helpful very simple for the first aid givers another important is the choking you may face uh, this choking situation sometimes uh, this is a try to hemlich maneuvers very uh, important you can try it uh, when uh, you can place this your hand like that like that to to the uh, patient's uh, upper abdomen near the gyphoid and and press this uh, hand suddenly suddenly towards the gyphoid inside and it may the patient may cough out the patient may expel out the choking substance and in case of child you can uh, put this child your hand and then uh, make some strong barping over the uh, over the back it may helpful and if your this procedure help if it fails then you have to start the cpr at once so these are the child hemlich maneuver these three positions you can try uh, is actually needs uh, hands-on training and i should practice practice and practice it to do the effective hemlich maneuver you can try into an institution for this another is that the mainly you know in the modern age we know the situation is uh, very much critical. Our uh, industry, you, you may face some industrial situations. You may work at hospital. You may work at the community. You can may work in the rural areas. So uh, you may uh, uh, work in the medical emergency, surgical emergency, child emergency, obstetrical emergency situations like that. So first aid, treatment is is multi-directional and multi-dimensional and now it is very classified there is no single route to achieve the first aid technique this is multi-directional we can discuss only some common uh, common situations the common techniques like that but surely if you like to uh, develop your professional career in first aid is it may be classified and multi-dimensional so hands-on training and proper implementation makes a perfect professional is is a very important uh, message for you and with this some few words i like to stop here thank you very much thank you for participation now you can make questions if you like to i'll try my best to answer all these questions thank you very much